She will defend. Oh! LeBron James with no regard for human life. You're now listening to the Win or Lose Sports Show. Talking sports, hip-hop, to pop culture. Available on Apple Podcast, Spotify, and wherever podcasts are heard. It's kickoff time. Welcome back to another episode of the Win or Lose Sports Show. So this has been a interesting week in sports, especially in the NBA. So uh, this is episode number seventeen of the Win or Lose Sports Show. Um, I'm going to do things a little different today. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Draymond Green incident in Golden State's practice. So, as you all know, the video was leaked. First, there was word on Wednesday that Draymond punched uh, Jordan Poole in practice. There was no video of it until Thursday when the video came out. And that looked pretty crazy. I mean, I think it's it's normal for, for players to fight or have scuffles in practice. It happened when I was playing, so yeah, in junior high, high school, and and beyond. So I've seen it, I've experienced it. But the the difference is with this one is um the the way that it happened. I guess we don't know what was said between Draymond and 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 Jordan Jordan Poole, but the action of Draymond walking away or was walking away and standing on a different side of the court. Uh, obviously, Jordan Poole was still saying something or something was said uh, between between the two. And Draymond walked back over to Jordan Poole, got in his face, and that's when Jordan pushed him. Now, that's normal, right? For a push, uh, exchange of words but the punch is what changes everything um because that was a punch that you that you see somebody getting punched on the street not a teammate not your brother uh so that that's where the difference is that's where i kind of i didn't lose i don't know if i lost lost respect for for draymond i like draymond i like his his character i like the way he plays even though I, I may not agree with everything he does on the floor, uh, some of the antics that, that he's a, accused of doing, especially in the playoffs uh, against Cleveland uh, and against Denver when he kicked uh, Jok- uh, Nikolai uh, Jokic and when he kicked uh, Nikola Jokic and when he kicked uh, LeBron. But that's, I mean... I don't know if that was intentional, so I can't say anything about that. But the way that this was handled is is just not something that you do f- uh, for your to your brother or your teammate. He did apologize today uh, in a statement press conference. He apologized. He said he apologized to the team. He apologized to Jordan. I don't know if that relationship can be the same after that, though. Um having an incident like that it's like that's that's supposed to be your brother or your or your friend and they hit you like you somebody on the street that 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 they don't know so that i think that changes things in that situation i don't know if it changes things for golden state as an organization like what they want to do with draymond hopefully they can get over it to where uh this it doesn't change the dynamic of steph Clay and Draymond and that they can keep uh, Jordan Poole and Draymond together at least for this season because I see them going for a fifth championship which can happen but for that to happen uh, there has to be no injuries and there has to be no incidents like this that can disrupt the team 
team chemistry is very important, especially when you've been together for, for this long. And, and Jordan's new to the team. Uh, Draymond's not new. He's supposed to be the leader of the team. So that's that's where that 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 kind of is kind of where do you go as an organization? Hopefully nothing changes and they can work this out. And Draymond and Jordan, he, they said he talked to him and everything's OK. And he apologized to Jordan and his family. It's just I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know what was said and what was done. But what I do know is in order to win championships, in order to continue to win, um, team chemistry plays a big part. They have been together for a long time there. I'm sure there's some frustrations within the teams because that happens. It happens in family. It happens in business. It happens in, in real life. It happens in, in sports all the time. It happened in uh, with the Bulls and Steve Curry and Michael Jordan talked about it where Jordan was getting fouled over and over again by uh, Steve Kerr. Uh, Phil Jackson wasn't calling it. So the next time down, Jordan gave Steve Kerr the hard foul. Steve Kerr didn't, didn't take it too well, so he, he punched Jordan in the chest. Jordan turned around and punched him in his eye. He was thrown out of practice. They went on to win the la- that last what three championships. I don't know what, what where that incident happened. Maybe between the the last two championships, but it it they worked it out and they talked about it. Steve Kerr and Michael Jordan and they they were fine. Is it that type of incident? The only difference is back then there was no video leaked. There was no incident to where people can look at it and say, "Oh, Jordan did that." But if Jordan did do that and the video leaked back then, would it be the same reaction of uh, that that it has with Draymond? Because Draymond has a history or a reputation of being a uh, a bad, uh, not a dirty player, but an aggressive player. Not a bad player, not a bad person, but an aggressive type of player uh, has an aggressive personality. People didn't know that about Jordan. That he had an aggressive personality and practices. I knew this as a Bulls fan uh, back in the day because I followed everything about the Bulls and everything about Jordan. So those those uh, articles that were written back in uh, ninety what ninety three, uh, I, I I saw some of that. I saw it. I saw it. So I knew what was going on in what was written. I knew what was written uh, that was going on in Chicago. Uh, but now videos are leaked all the time. There's cell phones, there's camera and people do it just, just to get some kind of a reaction or a, a following or, uh, something on social media. They want to grow their, their, their following on social media. So they will post videos like that. So it's, it's a different time. Uh, if it happened back then, maybe there would have been a, a, a a different reaction to Jordan. Maybe they would have been the same reaction that they had to Draymond, but Draymond did apologize. So hopefully they can work it out. Hopefully, uh, Jordan Poole and Draymond can have that, that same relationship, big brother, little brother relationship. Uh, and they can move on and do well this season. We'll see.